What's going on here, YouTube? This is my contribution to this uh, kit that I've made. I had this uh, kit for about five years. Uh, I got it from China. I believe it was from Hobby King. And uh, it was a lot cheaper than what it is now. You can still find it. It is a good kit. Um, but, yeah, there's always a but, right? Um, you do end up with extra pieces. Uh, maybe from different configurations. This is extra. These ribs are extra. These are actually duplicates. And But, uh, to, to their plus, you do get a uh, two different types of firewall. This one would be for the electric. And uh, they do give you the, uh, the cables for uh, holding up the struts and a tailwheel. So, that's not bad. You'll see on the struts, there's these smaller pieces. If you made up these formers, uh, the ones up, upper and lower for both halves of the wings, if you made them properly, and it's pretty easy to keep them, you know, together, uh, you, you'll find that each one of these small pieces uh, that it goes into the corresponding slot, it doesn't allow you to fit the wrong one in the slot. So that's a credit towards them. Um, but there's then there's other things like you might see, okay, it's you got it listed four, six, five. Uh, well, they got it listed as four, five, six, and that wouldn't have been right because this tip would have been too short and that tip would have been too long. So, you know, it's, it's stupid things like that. The uh, tail group uh, surprisingly went together without a hitch. I mean, it's straightforward, uh, was no uh, no guessing, and that's the way it looks. I don't know how well you could notice, but you can see that there's a little bit. It's lower there, and then it, it gets higher here. So there is some dehedral into the wing, the bottom wing, and a little bit less on the upper wing. You're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna notice the the wings are swept back on uh, the upper and lower. So when you're putting these ribs formers in, you're gonna notice that if you lined up the uh, the ribs uh, in your hand, uh, that the holes are not lined up. That's not a mistake. That's to give the offset of the swing back of the uh, the wing. And you got kind of stuff that makes no sense. See the uh, A33? They lasered the numbers on the um, plywood, which in some instances, like uh, here, right, right here, uh, where my thumb is, the tip of my thumb, that, um, that uh, yeah, I want to get this cleared out. This piece right here is broken because they lasered the part number in there. So you got to keep in mind of those silly things. That's that's an oversight. The uh, the instruction booklet is that's it. It basically gives you a a layout of the parts of what parts are what, and most of them are marked, and that's it, that's it guys, that's all you get. So you can see what the completed model looks like with the covering on top. Alright, you uh, you want to know the wingspan is uh, 1400, uh, uh, 1400 uh, millimeters, and um, that's uh, 56, 55 inches. And the um, fuselage length is a little over a meter. It's 1,100 millimeters. And uh, that's 46 inches. 46 inches long and 55-inch wingspan. And uh, this is considered a 40-size uh, a glow plane. My overall impression is uh, I think it's a good kit. Uh, it is not a beginner's kit by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you'll really be, you know, sorry if you are a beginner and you try to accomplish this uh, task because it just, it doesn't give you any instructions whatsoever on how to do things, uh, how to glue, what glue to use, um, 
how to set up your electronics, your motor, what motor to choose. There's a lot of things. So this falls into the expert category. Um, you know, it's, but it, it's doable. And I think it's a really nice looking kit. And boy, is it going to be super light. I am going to set up this uh, model for gas. Um, I got too many electrics as it is. And um, it's going to either be gas or glow. I, I have an ex, uh, engine kicking around. It's actually brand new, but it might be a little bit overkill for this. Um, I have an OS 4-stroke. Uh, I believe it's a, an FS62. Um, it's, got, it's got a little bit heavy for that plane, I think, because it is a 40-size uh, plane. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure out something. I just basically wanted to get this out there because there are people that have the same like interest and they might try to accomplish this uh, uh, kit. And um, I'll give you a, a run up on how it looks and performs uh, later on. You know, as soon as I get it covered and all the electronics in and get it out to the field, we'll do a maiden honor. So with that said, y'all be good.